So hello and welcome to another Valorant VOD analysis. Today we are going to be looking at Chamber on Haven played by Sender for Vitality because I thought it was super fascinating. Uh, I wasn't really necessarily expecting Chamber's like first map that I saw, uh, you know, a a get a good look at on Haven here. Uh, you know, Breeze and Icebox, I was expecting more from Chamber, uh, but we saw it on Haven. I thought it was super interesting how Sender played Chamber on Haven. So I thought it was worth showing to you all as well and uh, diving into exactly what went on. So this is G2 versus Vitality. And uh, we have, as I said, Sender on uh, Chamber here. And uh, straight away, we can see what he's doing pre-round here, setting up or, you know, finding the perfect position, as we can see right now, for his... Uh, Little alarm bot. I will call it an alarm bot because I've just got used to calling it that at this point. But yes, if we look at the map, what we can see is we have uh, one of his bots outside uh, Silong, of course, watching the flank. And uh, he just put one there into uh, the window area as well. So, you know, that's where he's going for the flank control. And he also put one of his uh, rendezvous. Uh, you could just see it here, I think, just by his uh, face there on the map as well. So that's why he's put his first one. But you'll notice there is no second one down yet. And so let's see how this round plays out and how Chamber goes about it. So if we play the round and we go through. So if we play the round and start it straight up, we're going to see Sender and uh, his teammates, you know, start towards A. We get a breach stun early. And then right here, Sender, you know, this is just him playing well. He catches Mix while trying to get a bit aggressive straight away. So a good start for him, uh, but not really, you know, anything too, anything too special at the moment. But then he is going to continue uh, this push down towards the Sova as well. And uh, as you can see, he's making his way. Here he is towards the long angle. So he's already got one kill. And uh, let's see how else he's going to, you know, take advantage of Chambers' kit. Now, as you can see, Vitality start to sort of come back towards a main we see that there's two g2 players there as well but as we can see sender is gonna take a push here towards the g2 players and we're gonna see exactly what he does with that so he gets another kill there and then he sets down his second thing now this is quite interesting because what's gonna happen uh is he basically is gonna be a one-man pressure tool we can see if we go to the map that the rotations have started to come in you know Already we have Astra here, we have Sova here as well. Two have now died on A, and Cypher is also making his way back towards the A site. But of course, as you can see on the map, the rest of the Vitality team are heading towards C. But what Sender is going to do here is Chamber, and I really love this. He's going to be a one-man pressure tool. I'm pretty sure that this Sova either heard or saw this, you know, second bit of teleportation. So he probably still thinks, man, they're still coming. You know, this chamber, is, he's setting up his abilities. He's ready to go. We can see that uh, he is also on 22 health when I bring it back to the normal view as well. Uh, down here, 22. And uh, so if we keep playing it forward, you'll see what he does next. So again, he's going to continue this pressure whilst his team is all rotating across the other way. He's going to continue this pressure and uh, continue the peak here as the rest of his team kind of comes off. And then he's going to he's going to just teleport out. You know, this Sova dart, if we go back to the map, this Sova dart came in here. And uh, as soon as that happened, he's like, OK, I'm out. My team's, you know, pretty far. I know that the Sova's still there. There's probably more there as well. They also put smokes down on this site, as you can see. And uh, so, yeah, the fake perfectly delivered just based off the pressure of one player alone. And then Sender gets to, you know, act in the rest of the round as this kind of lurk tool now that he's in this position <laughs> and can just, you know, happily kind of, I mean, this is what he does later on in the round. He's kind of happily, you know, just sort of waits and lurks around Garage. And I think he picks up another kill as well at the end of the round. So really well played by Sender there. And uh, it's just a good use of the Chamber utility. And we start to get an initial idea of what Chamber can do. Okay, now let's move on to the second round. We see that, again, the bots are placed in uh, a similar position there uh, to the first round. Obviously, if these don't go off, then, you know, the opponents don't know about them yet. So you can probably still get away with it as long as that is the case. And now if we go to the normal map mode, we're going to see a very good round from Sender here in the second round as well. We get an early stun on A main and he puts down his rendezvous. You might have just seen it there. If we go to the map, you can see he puts it in uh, this corner here this time. Uh, again, hinting towards uh, an A hit or at least a pressure to start off. And uh, if we go back, uh, we will see that uh, he is actually about to get tagged here, I think. Yeah, he gets tagged, as you can see at the top, as does the Jet by this Marshal. So Mixwell getting in some damage there for G2. And uh, he and his team now are just going to sort of group around and uh, play around this A 
a part of the map and they're going to take their time you know they're actually going to lose the first kill here and be in a 5v4 but you'll see how uh sender in particular is able to bring it back on the chamber and uh, there's a disgusting teleport that we're about to see but as you can see time is just kind of elapsing we're going forward we could probably even bring it forward a bit so they've lost one player at this point but here we go sender is about if we come to the map Sen is about to put his second uh, rendezvous uh, just on a short, as you will see just now. There it goes. Uh, and if we now go back to the normal view, we can see what ends up happening. So they find a kill uh, with a shock dart, and then Sender, as you can see, finds a kill there. But then watch this. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. And then Brams trades it out instantly. So what we saw there was, uh, if we go back to the map... Basically, you know, this chamber is up here in a dogfight. He's got his rendezvous here on a short. He's in a fight. He He's missing a couple shots or, you know, just tagging the opponent. And so he goes, okay, I'm out. And he teleports out and the Astro right behind him is able to come in <laughs> and straight away trade instantly. Just perfectly done uh, from him. And then he, you know, after doing that and finding again multiple kills on the round, he's going to continue uh, to push up as you will see soon and then he's gonna find other kills as well He's actually gonna finish off the last two as well uh, Just able again to you know use his basically his sheriff his guardian almost in a pro player's hands uh, To great effect and he basically won them this round He basically you know managed that that kill on the Astra was super important because they were actually in a pretty close fight there You know but send on the chamber was able again to use his utility and win them this round Okay, so now on to the start of round three. Again, we still have the C long, and this is pretty much always going to be a custom for any attacking, you know, flank if they aren't going C, or at least not starting C. He's going to always put this on C long, and you can see he's put a rendezvous, not a, uh, a bot there to stop the flank, but uh, a rendezvous in the window as well. And uh, as we run this forward, what we're going to see, here is Sender on the screen, is he's going to put a bot in this corner as well here on A, just to stop any flank. Now, Vitality are going to, as you can see, play a bit more defaulty uh, this this round and kind of, you know, try and see what they can do. And uh, as we get this drone up a short, you'll see that Sender is going to follow the drone up a short. He's going to quickly check back, make sure that there is no quick flank. But now that the the uh, Silver has given him that information, we can now start to go back to his normal view and see uh, what he's doing. So he takes a peek out short here. He sees someone instant. Rendezvous down. I'm going to be safe again. Uh, he peeks again. He sees the silver. And then he knows, you know, pro players, they like to think that they're a bit better than the others. And he finds that kill. Now, obviously, that's just him being really good, right? Like, I'm not going to say that in your ranked games, you're always going to hit that shot. But the important thing is, if he missed that shot, he would have teleported away and been absolutely fine. And they still have the flank watch on A as well. So everything would have been fine. Now, actually, as we roll this forward, What's going to happen is he's going to make his first, or he's going to have his first blunder of the game. He's going to stay towards this A main, uh, but he's going to start pushing it again. And he's going to die here pretty soon after popping his ult as well. So he pops his ult, and uh, as you can see, he does die. But the important point of this was, if we go back to the map, the point is he's caused so much pressure and caused so many problems for the defenders here. He's already got one kill of the Sova there. And now two players are basically just guarding him alone. And he knows that no one has come up here because of his utility there as well. And so he's basically just a one-man pressure tool, which basically gives the rest of his team a 4v2 on this side of the map. And again, they are going to win this round vitality basically from that one player just causing so much havoc and so much pressure and the ability to get out. And I thought this was a really good use and a really good understanding in these clips of how you can use chamber on a map like Haven or really any map really you know putting down one in a pretty safe place of your rendezvous putting down your two little bots to stop the flank and then you know getting to a certain position seeing is anyone there peeking jiggle peeking you know making sure you're not dying putting down your second rendezvous taking a shot I missed I teleport out I hit I got a kill I'm good and just continue the pressure you know and they were using him basically as a lurking pressure tool that you know wanted to show himself normally when you think of lurkers you think of you know staying silent staying quiet and then you're picking people off on rotations because your teammates are making sound this was kind of the opposite where they were sending him out on his own he was putting pressure on a site on his own just being there and at any point if anything even went slightly wrong i'm out and, you know, the rest of the team, it turns out, are already on C. 
you know, and, and they're happy as Larry because they've got, you know, a lot of space to themselves now because there's maybe drag the rotations or whatever. Just thought it was really quite interesting and genius the way the Vitality used Sender on attack. Okay, so now let's look at some defensive rounds. But this first one, I actually just want to show you what happens pre-round. Not even interested in the actual round itself. Sender actually just kind of dies to a breach ult and gets caught and, you know, just dies pretty normally. Uh, but I want to show you what happens on uh, how he uses his utility. So let's track his path. So he started here, of course. He's gone around here. He put down one of his rendezvous here. But let's keep watching what he does. So I thought this was pretty genius as well. And you might want to use this trick also. So he's put down one rendezvous on his way. He puts down the second one, you can see just there, towards here. Okay. And then if we continue to run this forward, he's going to put one uh, of his, you know, bots down there in uh, garage. And he's going to put one bot down towards C. So he's put down pretty much all of his utility here. You know, he's put one there, one there. And he's got his two teleports here, you know, in two pretty defensive positions. But let's see what he does with the teleports now. Because if we keep watching the map here, what we're going to see is he ends up going back. And then as soon as he's within range, he teleports back to here. And then... He picks them both up. I thought that this was absolutely genius. He's actually going to go and play on A this round. And if we keep running it forward, you'll see that. He's going to play A this round. And then stop putting down his rendezvous again. As you can see, he's going to then put them both towards short. So he's going to put one on top of this box. And he's going to put one there as well. But his, uh, his other bits of utility are in, are in these areas. Which is just incredible. I thought that this was amazing and such an interesting use of his abilities to be able to put down utility on one side of the map. You know, I've talked about in my, you know, when we look at map analysis and defending videos about cheating a lane. Well, this is how you can do it, you know, cheating a lane using Sentinel utility to kind of, you know, just we'll know if anyone is there because of my utility. That's just genius. It's just so genius the way that he's used this. And I just absolutely love it you know, of being able to put down utility on one side of the map. And then I'm actually going to go play on the other side of the map. And I can do that with this character if, you know, you play it smart. And I just wanted to highlight that because I thought it was a really cool use of Chambers utility. And then last but not least, let's watch this round, round 22, where we can see uh, Sender do some real damage on the defensive side. So let's play this forward. Again, we can see where his utility is, you know, one on B, one on Garage, and you can see one of his teleports there. And he actually puts one right where he is in this corner as well as the round starts. And you can see that uh, G2 here are going to make a C push. So as we run this forward, uh, we can see that a, uh, a Sova Dart comes in and spots the jet, I think, there because of that. Sender actually gets flashed, but G2 don't check their corners, but look at that. He manages to get two kills, but then he's out, right? And because if we look back at the map here, uh, because when we look back at the map, because these players are a bit far behind, you know, they're a bit behind their teammates, it means that they also end up with no idea where he has actually gone off to. And if we carry this on forward, eventually, you know, as the retake starts to come in, you know, they, they give them control of the site. They're in a 5v3. They'll say, you know, we'll just play together as, as a five. And you can see Mixwell there. You know, he's looking around like, where did he go? You know, they have no idea where he's gone to. And then he just peeks out, you know, because they, they have no idea where he is. And so he's able to just get that free peek out and get a free kill because they don't know. He could have teleported miles away. He could have teleported, you know, they were looking for him on site because they thought, well, he might have teleported somewhere on site. And they just had no idea where he was. And he gets a free kill there. And he's going to get another kill here as well and almost ace this round. And just ends with four kills and he wins the round. And Vitality gets to 12 and Vitality end up winning this match and winning the entire series. And yeah. I thought this was just a beautiful use of Chamber and a good example of the strengths of Chamber. And, and I, I'm kind of surprised, really, that Chamber wasn't picked more in some of these qualifiers, or at least from what I've seen, you know, that he hasn't been picked as much as I would have thought. Maybe people are still getting used to it, but I think we've seen, I mean, I think this showed, these rounds showed that he could cause havoc. <laughs> he can cause absolute havoc, both on attack and defending, if uh, played right. And I think that we might see more teams, you know, particularly teams with like, you know, high fragging capability players who maybe, you know, maybe if you've got two players, you know, you can't run double duelist on every map. I think we will start to see more and more chamber as we uh, as we go forward.